you're watching uh, Retro Rewind Gamer. We're doing Final Fantasy Tactics. Um, in this episode, we're actually going to put Cloud um, on the battlefield, uh, as well as a red chocobo. I've faced enough of those, but I haven't used one yet. Somehow, I ended up getting one that's level 68. So, we're going to try him out uh, again, as we've been doing in these random battles. Um, Orlando is going to be the policeman, uh, just kind of stepping in when he needs to, when somebody else is getting in trouble. Um, I'm also going to be working on Cosmos, who's my time mage, um, just because uh, I'm going to need her to have uh, to be good in the in the deep dungeon, which will uh, be coming up. We're also going to use Beowulf because um, he's also another good one um, to use. There's our red chocobo and. There's Cloud, 73, 469. He can hang in there pretty well, but if he takes a couple of hits from a level 99 enemy, he will go down. Um, the one thing, and, and you may not see me use a lot of that of it here in this episode, um, but are his limit breaks. Uh, the limit attacks take time, and obviously the ones that do more damage, the better ones take more time and if the enemy moves um, then all he does is he thrusts the sword forward and nothing happens so it's it's kind of a hit or miss but we're gonna survey the battlefield we got some enemies on both sides so we're gonna put Orlando and Cloud I think over here and Klaus actually got a little bit more speed because he's going second. That wasn't the case before. Now, let's see, will the meteor hit anything? No. So he's got to wait a little bit. The Chuckle Ball's obviously not going to get there either, nor will an attack. So as you can see, these guys are packing some hit points as well. And Beowulf is good because he's got don't attack and sleep. My chemist will move a little bit forward. And do some sniping there. Try not to be too close. So, Cloud still can't really get even close. So he's just gonna move and wait. Now the Choco Meteor will hit, and it's not going to hit for as much as it did for me, but it's still a ranged attack, which is nice because then he can back up a little bit and try to stay safe. I'm going to keep Orlando even with Cloud just to make sure that Cloud doesn't get in trouble because here comes the Goblin. You can see he took a hundred off of that. And here's the thing that I like about Orlando. 83% chance that it'll hit. So just like that, that one cannot do anything except move. So it's gonna move backwards. Now, he also has a drain attack too, so as long as this one doesn't hit him, um, it should be okay.
So again, she's just gonna basically be the sniper. Orlando will wait and we'll see Cloud do at least the braver. That one should get off. And then we can move him backwards. If the goblin doesn't move, it'll get off. Okay, I can't hit the meteor. I can't hit that one with the meteor, but I can hit this one with the meteor. And he can wait. And here comes the braver. Doesn't do as much damage, but he doesn't have to take the counter. So we'll put the don't act actually on this one. It's a lower chance of hitting, but... And it missed. So I'm going to kind of peel him out. And Orlando is going to have to do a little something here. Because I think he's going to, I think they're going to need some help over there. So that one won't be coming near Cloud anytime soon. So it's really the goblin. And Cosmos now level 72. We're gonna back her up, try to keep her out of range. Cloud can do about 120. And another bit on the Choco Meteor. So the red Chocobos actually are not too bad. That one's gonna kinda hang back because again it can't act. So Orlando's gonna come back here just in case. And you can see we're up against level 90 and 91s. We'll be able to get 158 hit points back. And he goes to 89, and that one's going to back off, too. Orlando's basically going to be the healer here for Cloud. This one will move forward, but... Not really enough to do uh, any harm. So another 120. And still no counter, so... We're gonna make the goblin kinda move over to me. The Choco Meteor will finish this one off here. So I think we sort of have this battle kind of under control. And she's going to move to a bit safer ground. That one, the Donut, came off. 
So it will start creeping forward again. See what the percentage is on don't act here. Only 53. So I'd rather get some more hit points back. Cloud could use some HP. Even though he's going to be able to finish off the goblin next turn, really. And another 140 off here. There's Cloud's first kill of the battle, 74. And that's where getting some of those hit points back helps. So now Cloud's gonna basically go in pursuit of that one. She was able to hit from there. We got another one coming up. But we can get this one hurting. And level 70. But the Chocobo's not even, even, even needing to move. And we're gonna do another drain attack. This one missed. Drains usually don't miss, this one did. So he's gonna try to back up a bit. Actually, he doesn't need to back up too much. Cloud to keep gaining experience using up potions. I have plenty of gill. I can stock up on it. Orlando's going to kind of hang out where he's at. And not able to take it out yet. But the Choco Meteor should with these. And he's gaining some pretty good experience per clip. So we're going to again try Don't Act. 83% chance. And it hit. So we'll take a look at Cloud's second one, which is the Cross Slash. They all look really about the same. Now he's going to do 184. And still wait.
And I don't think she's in a position to hit. Yeah, she doesn't have a shot there. And I think if I move her down here, I think she's got even probably less of a shot, but we'll see. Nope, she's got one. And she's 73. She's going to be a time mage going into the deep dungeon. And here's the cross slash from Cloud. And again, Orlando is just going to kind of sit back. We'll right, go right here and we'll do go for the big hit. He's going to do 294 and that's going to wrap it up for that one. So we were kind of hurting a little bit there. I mean, this is a new dynamic for me. I've been fighting with Cloud, uh, power leveling him. This is really the first time I've used a Chocobo, though. Uh, 45,900 gil. Um, but so, so far, I'm liking the Red Chocobo. I, like I said, I faced enough of these guys um, in this game. I might as well use one. Um, use that Meteor attack against the other team. Uh, they've used it against me quite a bit. So I might as well put it back at them and see how they like it. So we'll probably do about one or two more battles with this setup. I don't want it to be too long of an episode. Um, I just want to give you guys a, a look at Cloud. Um, I know uh, it took us three episodes to, to get him because there was so much traveling uh, that we had to do. Um, but let me know what you think in the comments um, below about what you, th what you think about Cloud, um, what you've seen so far. Um, in, in this episode, um, and you know, is, is he worth going through all the extra trouble to get and then leveling up from level one when all your other characters are basically 80 plus? Um, that was kind of what I looked at here, but uh, you know, obviously, uh, if you're a Final Fantasy 7 diehard fan, you're a diehard fan of Cloud, um, you're gonna. You're probably going to want to do it. Um, so, but, but let me know in the comments below. Um, I love hearing from you, and I, I respond uh, as soon as I can, um, you, which is usually as soon as I see the comment. Um, so let's survey the battlefield here. And we got a four enemy team. So Orlando is just going to kind of sit back, let this chocobo kind of come out. because he does have such a wide range. I don't want to put Cloud unnecessarily at risk. So we're just going to move him up the one spot. Our land is still going to be in a whole pattern. We'll see if I can get this guy to don't act. 93% chance. So that's going to be one less enemy to deal with right now. Because his next turn, he's going to back up. And she can't take the pot shot. He's actually in the way, but we get to high ground, and we'll actually go after the Chocobo. So he's going to come actually after Beowulf and hit hard.
So Cloud will come up and do 160. Orlando's gonna come over just a little bit. Make sure everything's cool. But let's see if we can get Don't Act on the Chocobo. That way it can't even heal. 88%. And now it can't act, so it can't even heal itself. Orlando's gonna draw the goblin in a little bit more. Take one more shot at the chocobo. And now he's gonna back up because there's nowhere, nothing he can do. I kind of want to be unrelenting, but at the same time, I don't want to, again, put him at any kind of risk. So he's going to use a high potion. This way he gets experience. See if he can get off drain. It's not gonna do the chocobo in, but it's gonna give him some more hit points. She's got a straight shot to finish it off. And she's now 74. Now Orlando's going to try to draw some friendly fire. And see which way they go. Going to come after Cloud. Not a surprise. But guarded. And counter. The goblin's coming after Beowulf this time. And he still can't act. Uh, let's see. One, two... We'll do another cross slash. The donut came off on that one. And Cloud's now 75. Trying to see where everybody's at in hit points, and Beowulf is a bit in trouble. So that's why the policeman comes in. This time we're going to have 100% don't act. And Beowulf's up to 90. So in the, the, in the deep dungeon, this is going to be really key. 
because you can't finish off all the enemies before you find the doorway to the next level. So the panther's gonna start moving up forward. The goblin's gonna move backwards. But Cloud will follow because the goblin can't do anything and we'll just keep doing some cross slashes here and bring him down. Panther is gonna take him out. Nope, going for poison instead. And guarded. This guy's got a lot of hit points. So again, we're gonna try to do don't act. Making these battles Quite a bit easier now. And no shot, because Cloud's in the way. So she's actually gonna come over here and start cutting this guy down at sides. This may hit, this may not. Let's see. 160, hoo -ya! Got him hurting too. And he's not gonna be able to get away. There's a crystal, which we definitely don't want that guy getting to. Beowulf can't get there. So for now, he's gonna focus on attacking. It can't even counter. And she can still hit it from there. She's getting some critical shots in. Keep her kind of even in that spot, and Cloud will take the crystal so the goblin can't get it. And Braver will do it. Oh, but the goblin's gonna move, so see, you'll see now that the attack does nothing. When the enemy moves, the attack does nothing. And the donut came off. So we're gonna drain some hit points, get some back, and I'll finish this guy off. And I know who I left out. My only, I'm only battling with four dudes. I left the Chocobo out. <laughs> Oops. And Cloud to 76. So we actually won that battle with only four... Four party members. I forgot the Chocobo. It happens. I wouldn't recommend doing that. Though some people may ask, hey, do you, you know, can you try going into these battles with two, three people? You can go in with one if you want. But I, I wouldn't recommend it because it's going to be tougher. And that one took probably longer than it should have. Um, just because I did not 
put the chocobo in. Um, but he will go in the next battle for sure. And the battles should be good unless I run into a band of ninjas. And it's usually at Uruguay Woods that I would. So there's still the chance. This can be the tedious part. And there we go. So back in Mandalia Plains, I'm not too concerned if we see anything. Um, it might be a red and a purple chocobo. Uh, I can usually have Orlando uh, take those guys out pretty quick. So, we're going to put our Chocobo there. That way he's there. I didn't forget him this time. So, we basically got all... As much of the content as we could with the job classes. And the characters up to this point. So, what we got left to do... Um, to basically wrap things up is going to be um, the Deep Dungeon before we get into the final mission to end up the game. So we're almost there. And I know this guy up here, I need to be careful of because he did 700 plus hit points to Reese earlier. Heavens wish to destroy all mines, holy explosion. So, I definitely want him out. The purple chocobos, they've got a flight range, you just, you can't escape them, really. So what I can do, I can't, I can get next to him. No, I can't. I can get two spots away. If I put somebody on the other side, it's gonna actually hurt them. But then I can do the don't act, so... Do the Choco Medio on him. And level 71. Chocobo says, hey, why didn't you put me in earlier? So Orlando's gonna basically come out to try to lure the purple Chocobo. Donak, 73% chance of hitting. And it did. But it may not survive anyway. It's taking some uh, taking some damage here. Up oh, it's gonna set itself up for cloud. And this is what I was afraid of. So now, I gotta get her within range to bring him up. I would normally use white magic, but it's been failing quite a bit. So at least he's back in the game. But this other purple chocobo is going to come and do the same thing. Oh no, he's coming after Reese. Or right, I'm sorry, after uh, Beowulf. So Orlando's going to come out. 
He's gonna take care of this chocobo. And he's gonna back up. This other goblin's gonna come and take a hit here. Cloud definitely needs to heal. And back out of the way. And chuck him here. Not gonna do as much. But it's a start. Let's see what Donak would be on this. 100%. Gotta go for it. This way he can't get... He can't get those attacks off now. Try to heal him up a bit here. And heal him up a bit more. And then she's gonna jump on the high ground. So all the ones that can't do anything are running away. And Orlando is going to really wait to... See if I can get Cross Slash off here. Now, the Red Chocobo's got a pretty good movement as well. And I don't know if he's going to be close enough to, to be able to drain. No. So he's got to wait. Here comes the Cross Slash. For all intents and purposes, we're just going to make this a one enemy fight. Absorb power in the sky and strike. Lightning stab. Huh. Just like that. Still cannot do anything. So she can't really attack. So she's just going to do X, X Potion here. Now the Don't Act is off. So we need to be a little careful. And the meteor will reach and finish it off. Huh. And 72. He's going up quick. So we'll see what our spoils are here. As we did it with a five member team this time. 
46,800 gil. I'm going to restock up on potions and ex-potions and high potions and all that stuff. Um, but with that, I'm going to wrap up this episode. Uh, the next episode uh, should see us getting into the deep dungeon. Uh, that's going to kind of be scary. Um, I'm nervous about that. Uh, we have to basically travel down here to Wargilus Trade City. Um, that's going to kind of give us uh, a little bit of a conversation, which will then open up the dark, the deep dungeon, which I think is over here. Um, and it's ten floors, uh, random battles, uh, it's all darkness, and you, your characters need to have move find items. Uh, that way, that ability needs to be equipped so you can find the exit to the next floor, because, again, if you kill off all the enemies... And you don't have, you haven't found the exit to the next floor. You have to do it all over again. So it, it can be kind of annoying. Um, but I'll do some power leveling uh, before I do that episode as well. So um, my time mage Cosmos, who's now a chemist, but she will be a time mage, will be um, in better shape. Beowulf will be in better shape. Um, I know Orlando's going to be there. The other two I don't know. Cloud might be there. Uh, might not. Um, don't know. We'll see where he's at in level. But, uh, for now, that's gonna wrap it up. I thank you for watching. Uh, please like, subscribe, and spread the word. And until next time, I will see you later. Bye-bye.